So tell me who you are. Well, I mean, free Americans, yeah. And so, what are you doing today? Uh, we were out here yesterday too, uh, down on the original protest site. So basically, you've seen the records that cops keep. And cops are a lot less likely to try and tread on people's rights when there's other armed Americans with them. So we figured it's about damn time that some, or at least I figure that it's about damn time some heavily armed rednecks stood with fellow citizens. And why are you protecting this store? Well, I mean, this wasn't exactly a yeah, specified we action. We, we we've been kind of so well, we just kind of ended up here. We, we've been moving around and just trying to see what see what's what without getting necessarily completely slapped by massive groups of people. And uh, while we were walking, somebody mentioned that there were some guys at the back of us actually wanted to know if they were over to go buy something. And uh, they said that they're they're closed and they're defending their businesses. Oh yeah, Target's on fire. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. But and anyway, so we heard that we're like, well, we, we better we better kid up and go see if these guys need help. And turns out these guys are out here with machetes and shattered windows trying to keep looters out of the business because cops can't get in here. And so, you know, I figure before they were cops, they were just Americans. So here we are. Already out during the LA riots. Or during the LA riots. Collateral damage, they I guess. They're protecting their own stuff. That's where you only got the term rooftop Korean. So bottom line, just for Floyd. And uh, I hope they stop looting at some point. If there are more of us, we could go stop them from looting. But it's just us four. Yeah, we, we definitely don't agree with the looting. Yeah, no, looting, but we do agree about the cost of the protest. Yeah, definite protesting.